anybody that you don't go in when you onboard a new client, if you do not go in and configure a default domain for their email services, they will use whatever you have configured at the agency level. That's what email will go out whenever they send emails out. And as you can understand, that could probably be pretty confusing because what happens is that that email goes out and then when it comes back in or if they look at it, they're like, what is this going on here? This domain doesn't even match the business I'm doing business with and it could be discerning. So right now, one of your clear onboarding steps when you're ever onboarding a client is to configure a dedicated email domain and get that configured for that sub account. That's just my warning on that one. Now I put this on here because I specifically wanted to make sure I put a do not reply on the domain. So, you know, if this is the case, I don't want people to reply because, you know, this right here is, it will not be coming back into their uh, conversations area. That's the problem is that it, uh, for the subdomain. So this right here is what you need to be paying attention. Using a subdomain with Mailgun like MG or, you know, my domain or email or, you know, info or something like that at mydomain.com. Using a subdomain, you'll be able to send emails from the root domain. So this right here, for instance, if you had um, mydomain.com is your primary business domain, then that domain could be um, configured to get mail at Google or uh, Microsoft, like I said before. But when you configure a subdomain, dot your primary domain, which is the recommended best practice, then that subdomain, when people send it to, you know, whatever that the email is configured at mg.mydomain.com, then that email comes directly back into high level and then shows up in the conversations area. So that's kind of why I wanted to sit back and explain this to you. And then to come down here and look at this as well,